one more minute, then we'll get started. Um, we'll be using weights, like I said, and our formats for our power moves at the end um, and for a couple of stretches that we'll do throughout as well. A couple of reminders to make sure that everything is pain free in what you do today. If you have pain, um, if we're doing a movement, see if you can do half of it. So for example, if we're doing like an overhead reach and you have pain in your shoulders at the top, only go to the um, portion that you can complete where you don't have pain. So we'll go ahead and scoot to the front of your chair. Let's set our posture. So chest up tall and shoulders down and back. Let's start out with the power move. So we'll start with a power up where you're leaning down and then squeezing your shoulder blades as you come back. Let's do 10 of these to get warmed up each time trying to stretch a little bit further back. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Moving into the power rock. So for this one, you're gonna lean your elbow either on your knee or you can reach all the way to the ground. And then you're gonna reach up and across while that same leg extends out to this side. So this is our move here. We'll reset our posture up in the middle before switching to the other side, reaching up and across. Let's do 10 on each side or 20 all together. And we'll move through these slow. I wanna use this as a stretch in a way to try to get a little bit more movement each repetition, okay? So here's our first one. Reset, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, in 20. All right, moving into the power twist. So again, resetting our posture, arms start out wide. And for the twist, we'll turn to clap, point that front knee down towards the ground as you turn. And then reset, arms come wide again before turning to twist the other way. Again, my front leg pivots down. Let's do 20 here as well. Again, we're taking our time with these, holding the motion for a second to feel that stretch. One, open, two, open, three, open, four, open, five, open, six, open. Seven, open, eight, open, nine, open, 10, open, 11, open, 12, open, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, and 20. 
All right, last power move will be our power step. So for this one, taking an exaggerated step out, arms come out with that same leg, and then stepping in, arms come back in. And you, I want to <clears throat> have you guys kind of slap your legs down hard as you step that foot back in. So using a little bit more emphasis or power when you're coming back together. So we'll alternate, go back and forth, 20 all together with the power step. Ready? One together and slap your thighs hard as you step in. Two together. Three together. Four together. Five together. Six together. Seven together. Eight together. Nine together. 10 together, 11 together, 12 together, 13 together, 14 together, 15 together, 16 together, 17 together, 18 together, 19 together and 20. All right, let's do a couple more stretches sitting here. Reach down towards the ground. Feel a good stretch in your back. And then squeeze your shoulder blades as you come back up. Let's do 10 like that and we'll hold each position for a couple seconds. So reach down, forward fold towards your toes. And then come back up tall, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Forward, fold down, hold. Sit up, squeeze your shoulder blades, that's three. Forward, fold down. And back up, four. And down. Come up nice and slow, five. Forward fold. And come up six. Down. And shoulder blade squeeze, seven. Three more. Big stretch in your low back. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Two more, nice and slow. One. And last time, forward fold, stretch. And come up. All right. So we're going to go through a couple different circuits. The first we'll do is a flexibility circuit. The first, um, First half will be standing or sitting, and then there's a couple that we'll do at the end of the circuit, which will be on your mat. If you're not comfortable getting onto the ground or would just prefer to do them sitting or standing, you can do them in that position. I'll show you the modification. Um, and then we'll um, work into a strength circuit before we get down to our mats for the power moves. So we'll do, do these for repetitions. Um, I won't time us for, for these today. We'll count the reps out together. So the first one we're gonna do in the flexibility circuit, I'm just turning sideways so you can see me, you don't have to turn. So this one, you can go all the way to the back of the chair. And this is a stretch for your upper spine, your thoracic spine. So for this, I'm gonna cross my arms and I'm keeping my head tucked so that I'm not um, stretching my neck. This is more about my back. And then I'm arching over the back of the chair and then coming back up. So notice my chin stays tucked as I go back. I'm not letting my head hang back. So it's not about feeling a stretch on your neck. You shouldn't feel it on your neck at all. Keep your chin tucked as you do that. And you can do it at different spots too. So I slid my hips all the way to the back and I'm getting pressure kind of where the back of the chair hits me here. If your chair is too high, you can, you can also just do this move extending back like this. You don't need the back of the chair. The back of the chair just kind of gives you a pivot point, but if you don't have it, that's okay. 
So let's do 10 repetitions going back over that chair. So arms crossed, chin is tucked, nice and slow. This is one. So it's just to feel a stretch, it shouldn't be painful. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Keeping your chin tucked, shouldn't feel any pressure on your neck. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, for the next one, we're going to do a twist at the wall. So I'm going to show you sideways first. So we'll pretend that there's a wall here. And so both of my forearms are going to be on the wall. So if I was on the wall here, both of my forearms are resting on the wall. And I'm taking one forearm and twisting out and twisting with my head to feel a stretch in my upper spine. And you may even feel it across your shoulder here too, on the front of your chest. And then my arms are still at the wall and twisting the other way. So you can, if there's a wall nearby, you want to line up both of your forearms so that they're leaning against the wall from your wrist down to your elbow. Both are leaning at the wall. It should feel like a good stretch. You can do this seated and just twist back like that, but the wall gives you um, something to brace against, which gives you a little bit more um, movement that's possible. So we'll do 10 to each direction here. So lean it against the wall. Maybe I'll show it against this wall here if I can turn my camera. Yeah, so you can see me here. My forearms are on the wall here and I'm rotating away, bracing with the other one. All right, so let's do 10 to each side here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, we're gonna stay standing for this next one. So we're going to do a variation of the power twist. When we do the power twist, I'm starting out wide. I'm going to twist down towards my knee or towards my ankle and then squeezing through my hips to come back, back up tall. So maybe you want something in front of you so that as you're twisting, you can hold on with the other hand to give you a little bit of support and then switching hands. Twisting, it's hard to see, but twisting down, but I'm just holding that there. Make sure as you come back up to standing that you're not using all of your back. So if I'm, after I'm reaching down here, I'm gonna squeeze through my hips. My hips are doing most of the motion. So like you're squeezing your bottom muscles to help you come back up to this upright position. So let's go back and forth. Again, I can always use a hand in front of me to hold on to. We'll do 20 all together. So twist down towards your knee or towards your ankle, squeeze your hips to come up. That's one and twist down, 
Squeeze your hips to come up two. Twist down. Three. Twist. Four. Twist. Five. And down. Six. Down. Seven. Try to reach for the outside of your knee. Eight. Nine. Ten. We're halfway there. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, so the next two flexibility moves are going to be on the ground on our mats. So I'm gonna set up here on the ground and I'll show you these, make your way down to the ground. As a reminder, if I'm getting down and that's something if you're getting done and you have trouble with that, think about bracing yourself with one hand on the chair, stepping a leg back to come down into this kneeling position. We're gonna start here in this kneeling position. We have another twist. So for, for this one, I'm going to start with both of my hands um, down next to my feet. And then the hand that's closest to my foot, that same arm is going to stay planted. And I'm going to rotate away like this. And if that is too hard to keep your balance or to get any motion, you could line yourself up next to your chair or a couch so that you can keep that same arm here and rotate here. All right. So if you're seated, we're gonna do a similar motion to the one where our arms were like this. But if you're sit seated, you're gonna plant your hand on your leg and twist back. So same concept, you're gonna plant the same hand on the same leg and twist back like that. So you feel a stretch in your upper spine. So let's get set up. We'll do 10 to the same direction and then we'll switch and place our hand on the other side. If we're kneeling, we'll switch legs um, to do the other direction. 10 each way. All right, so both hands are planted either here or your hand is up here. And then the opposite arm to whatever leg is up is rotating away. That's one, same side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. So let's switch legs. And again, you can either keep your hand on your leg here, or I would switch and bring my chair to the other side so I could hold it here. Or if you're staying seated, just switch to what um, what hand is on your knee, switching directions. So from here, we're doing the same movement, just twisting the other direction or my hand could be up here and then twisting like that. So choose whichever you're comfortable with, whichever you um, feel a good stretch, but still can have motion. Let's do 10 to this side. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Bring that leg back so that you're on all fours. And we're going to switch into a cat cow. So a cat where you're arching your back up and then cow, you're dropping your back down. So rounding up through your spine and then letting your spine drop. My elbows don't bend. I still keep my elbows straight. If you're sitting, you can do the same thing, but with your hands on your knees. So I'm going to put my hands out here and I'm rounding my back and then I'm dropping my back down. So you wanna keep your elbows relatively straight in either position and let all of the motion come from your spine. So let's go through 10 slow repetitions of this movement. So starting with rounding up, take a deep breath in, exhale, back drops down. Let's coordinate our breathing with this. Round up, breathe in, and exhale, back arches down. Round up, breathe in, exhale, three. Round up, exhale, that's four. Round up, five, and exhale, Inhale up, exhale down, that's six. Inhale up, exhale down, seven, three more. Inhale up, exhale down, eight. Inhale up, and exhale. One more. Good, we're coming back up to standing. So that is our flexibility circuit. We're, you're gonna see that one more time today, but we're gonna jump into some strength exercises before we come back to that. So let's come into standing. You're gonna want your weights for the next several exercises if you have some. Um, so for the first one, you can either use one or two weights in front of you. We have six different strength exercises. And I'm not going to time us for these today just to mix it up a little bit. So the first one we'll do is a squat press. So as my arms are going to start up here with my weights and as I squat, my arms are reaching forward and then back in. As you squat, make sure that your hips are going back like you're sitting down in a chair. If you want to do this without the weights and hold on to something in front of you, that's a great way to do this as well. So let's do 10 repetitions of this exercise and then we'll move into the next one. Ready? One, keep your posture up tall. Two, three. Four, five, looks good everyone. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, the next one we're going to do is a shoulder exercise. So for this one, it is a bent over um, fly. So I'm going to show you, I'm just hinging at my hips a little bit and my arms are coming back like this. So you're going to get, if you go up like this, it's not as much work for the shoulders. If you bend forward a little bit, it makes your shoulders work against gravity to have to lift. If that feels hard for you to balance, you may want to try it one arm at a time. We'll do this a second time through. So you will get another chance to do the other arm. Maybe you wanna lean your hand on a, on a chair like this and let one arm do it at once. So that's an option you can try as well. All right, we have 10 repetitions of this and then we're going back to the squats. 
So a little bit of lean, I'll show you this way so you can see how much. A little bit of a forward lean, I'm keeping my core muscles tight as I lift back. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, stand up, shake it out. We're going back to that squat press. So feet are about as wide as your hips. As you squat, stick your hips back and these arms are gonna come forward. One more round to each of those exercises. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's go back to the fly. So again, I have a little bit of a tip forward in my hips as my arms come back. You can always have a, chant, a hand in front of you like I was mentioning, and this time use the opposite arm and just do one arm at a time. That's a perfect um, way to modify that. 10 repetitions here, then we'll take a quick drink if we need it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, stand up, shake it out. Grab a drink if you need it. We have two leg exercises coming next. These are both in standing. So the first one um, is a hip kick out to the side. This is called abduction. When you lift your leg out to the side like that, what you really wanna make sure is that your body is staying up tall. My upper torso should not move at all as my leg lifts. So if you find yourself leaning, straighten yourself up a little bit when you do it. So I'm gonna have us do 10 repetitions on each side with this exercise. Just a little bit of support through your hands. You don't have to do it without holding um, for this exercise. Uh, looks like everyone's mostly back so we can get started. One, two, three, four. Everyone looks nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a great exercise to do with ankle weights. If you have ankle weights at home or even a resistance band that is in a loop, this is a great way to make this one harder. Let's switch to the other leg. One, two, keep staying up really tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, the next exercise we're combining with this <clears throat> is a lunge. So we're going to do a forward lunge with this. Maybe I'll move this down a little bit so you can see. So I'm hanging out with one hand. I'm going to step forward with one leg, and then both knees are bending down and then stepping back together. I am going to show you a side version. So as we lunge, it's important that your front knee stays over your toe. So notice that my back leg is going straight down to the ground. What you wanna prevent is that you're just lunging forward like that, where my front knee is coming way past my foot. It's almost like you're going straight up and down as you lunge. So do this one alongside the side of your chair, or you can do it in where you have some space and hold a hand weight or two in front of you while you do this. Or you could even do this where you're hanging on with one hand, hand weight in the opposite hand. Um, so let's, instead of alternating for those of us who are hanging on, 
let's just do the same leg first. So I'm gonna do um, the same leg that's next to my chair, do the leg that's closest. Let's do 10 times. So step, lunge, and then step back together. Same leg. This is two. Three, try to keep your posture up tall. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's switch legs. So switch to the other side of your chair. And if you're holding a weight, put it in your other hand. Now we're switching to the other leg, 10 repetitions. So step, lunge, one. And I'm gonna stand sideways to my chair so that I can hang on to this better. Two, remember your knee is going straight down towards the ground, that back leg, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. We're going back to the leg kick out to the side, hip abduction. One more round for each of those exercises and then we can take a quick drink. Or I'm staying up really tall during this leg kick. 10 of these, let's get started. So you don't need weight for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You may feel more pressure for the muscle working harder on the leg that's actually standing still than the leg that's lifting because that leg has to stabilize. Let's switch sides here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, back to our lunges. 10 on each side. So if you feel comfortable, if you're not doing this hanging on, try to bring the weight up in front of your chest like this as you lunge. Lunging forward and then stepping back together. So that's a modification you can do. Or you could keep one hand here hanging on to the weight in the other hand. All right, let's get going with the first leg. One, remember my back knee is going straight down. Two, my posture stays up tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10, switch legs and switch sides if you're standing next to a chair. My weight is in my opposite hand. 10 on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Grab a quick drink if you need one. The next two of the strength exercises, um, I'm gonna show kneeling for these, but you can do a modification of them sitting if you wanna stay 
um, up in your chair. So just watch the couple versions. You don't have to join with me yet. The two exercises that we're gonna do in kneeling, the first one is with two weights. It's a shoulder rotator cuff raise. So my elbows are starting at 90 degrees with my weights. They're lifting out to the side, up, and then back down. So what you wanna make sure is that your shoulders aren't hiking up, but that your shoulders stay down. So that's the first one kneeling. The second one is a bent over row. So you can keep both knees down or you can bring one leg up, but you're leaning on this bench and pulling one arm straight back or you're leaning on your chair, I should say, driving your elbow straight back. So if you want to do either of those movements in sitting, you're welcome to. If I was sitting in a chair, I could do this same motion. That isn't different at all. But if you're sitting in a chair for the row, you just need to lean forward onto your leg. So my arm is leaning on my leg right there to row backward like that. All right, so let's get set up for these exercises. You're gonna use weight for both. We'll start with the shoulder raise first. So hand weights are out in front of you. If you're kneeling, you wanna keep your posture up tall. The reason we do it in kneeling is to um, make it a balance or our core challenge as we're doing working on our shoulders. So arms come out, lift up, perfect. And then rotate down, that's one. Keep your shoulders down, that's two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's get set up for the row. So you're just going to do one arm at a time. Again, you can lean forward onto your chair as you row back, or I like to do this in kneeling and half kneeling where I have one elbow resting on my knee like this and I row back, but you can do it either way. And if you're sitting in your chair, lean forward onto one leg, the other elbow pushes back. So let's do 12 on this side and then we'll switch sides. One, two, Three, make sure you're leaning onto that knee. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is really working on our posture strength. Switch legs if you're kneeling or switch side. Switch the side you're leaning on. Now, twelve with this other arm. One, your elbow comes straight back, staying real close to your body. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, back into kneeling, grab your other weight for the shoulder raise. My hands stay at, right out in front of my belly button. So my elbows are at a 90 degree angle as I rotate up and then away. All right. One. Two, those look good. Nice job, everyone. Three, four, keeping your shoulders down. Don't let them hike up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Last one. And 10. Get set up for the row. This is our last strength exercise today. So either kneeling with one knee up, leaning on that knee, or leaning against your chair or your leg in front of you if you're sitting. 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Switch sides and switch arms. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Nice job. Grab some water if you need it. We are gonna stay down here for our all fours power moves. And then um, kind of as a cool down stretch, we'll run through the, those same flexibility exercises once we're done. So all of these power moves can be done sitting in your chair like we did during the warm up. if you're not comfortable getting onto all fours. I also wanna show a great adaptation that I really like for the all fours power moves. Um, the two that are typically most challenging for people are where they have to step one foot forward like this and then power up, or it's hard for them to balance as they come down from here, they come down really fast. So if either of those um, are challenging, you notice are hard for you, you may wanna try it with your hands in front of your chair or in front of your couch. It makes it way easier to step that leg forward and it's way less of a distance to put your hands back, but it's still a good way to practice that exercise. Um, so that's a great modification, or you can do all of these sitting, sitting in your chair. So it looks like people are making their way back down if they're on the ground. We're gonna start with the power up. Actually, I'll turn myself this way so I'm in front of the speaker. So for the power up, you're doing a small elbow bend and then pushing through your hands to bring your arms straight back, squeezing your shoulder blades. The power up sitting from your chair is the same one we did in the warm up, where your hands are on your thighs, you're bending down, and then squeezing your arms back the same way if you're sitting in your chair. Let's do 10 all together. Let's count these up by threes. Down, three, down, six, down, nine, down, 12, down, 15, down, 18, down, 21, down, 24, down, 27, and last one, down, 30. So if you're sitting in your chair, the next thing we're doing is the rock and reach, where you're reaching up and across, and then you can switch sides with this, alternating what side you're reaching to. On all fours, it looks a little different. This is where you're rocking back into a child's pose stretch, and then my elbows stay straight as I rock forward, my hips come down. So that's our move. Um, we're gonna do 10 of these. So if you're power rocking in your chair, you'll get to do five on each side. Let's count backwards from 10 as we do this one. Ready? So rock back, that's 10, and then rock forward. And I like to keep my hands out a little bit further. It's more comfortable for me. Nine, hips come down, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two more, two, and one. Our next move is the power twist. So for this one, it's really similar to the kneeling one we already did. You're reaching up, looking up at your hands, and then you're tucking that arm through. So you're trying to push your shoulder down towards the mat. If you're seated in your chair, your power twist is the crossing your body, opening up, and then twisting to the other side. That's your move if you're in your chair. So let's do 20 all together, 10 on each side with this one. Let's start at 40 and count backwards by twos. We'll end at two. And I'm gonna alternate each side with this one. So reach up, this is 40, and then tuck that arm through. Now switch sides, 38, 36, 34, 32, 30, 28, 26, 24, 22, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, and last one, 2. Nicely done. So our last move is the power step. So if you're sitting in your chair, as a reminder, you're alternating stepping out to the side and back in, alternating feet. The power step from the ground is where your hands are out in front of you. And this is what I was mentioning at the beginning. It may be easier with your hands in front of you if you find this difficult. Stepping forward with one foot and then arms come back. And then your arms come down and you switch legs. Switch legs and then come up. So this is our power step move. Last of the power moves, we'll do um, 20 all together. Let's just count backward from 20. Let's get started. 20 and stretch that posture back. Switch. 19. 18. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Great job.
So we'll start with our flexibility exercises, the two that are on the ground, just to, um, since we're already here, but if you are in with your, in within your water's reach and want a sip of water before we get started, please feel free to do so. So we'll go through one more round of those flexibility exercises for kind of a cool down. And then if we have a couple extra minutes, maybe we'll do one or two stretches as well. So I think I'll go in reverse order of the stretches, the flexibility exercises we did at the beginning. And the first one is really similar to the twist that we did on all fours, except you're in half kneeling with one leg in front instead of with both knees down. So I think, I think it allows you to get a little bit more out of the stretch um, with that knee forward. And again, you can even do it with your hand up here as you twist back. Um, and so if you're seated, that's the same modification you'll do with your hands sitting um, with your hand on your knee and rotating back. So let's do 10 with um, your right leg forward or your left if you're already in that position, and then we'll switch sides. Nice and slow, you can coordinate your breathing if you like. So one, and try to follow with your eyes, turning your head to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're gonna to switch to the other side. If you're kneeling with one leg in front, switch legs. And again, you can either keep your hand here or bring your hand to the ground. And you can even kind of lock that arm next to my leg so that as I rotate, my shoulder is almost pushing into this knee to get a little bit of stability. Kind of twisting back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're coming into that cat cow. So if you're sitting, your hands are in front of you on your legs like this. So I'm rounding out through my back and dropping down, or you can say, I'm gonna stay on all fours to do it there, where I'm rounding up and dropping down. So you can do either version, whichever you prefer. This is our last mat exercise. So let's do 10, nice and slow. Rounding up and dropping down. That's one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, and 10. All right, make your way back up to standing. So if you're coming out of the kneeling, one leg comes up, you can push through this leg to come up to stand. So the next flexibility exercise we'll do is that power twist towards your knee. So starting with your arms wide, I'm twisting down towards my knee and then back up. So we have three more flexibility exercises today on the home stretch. Let's just do 10 of these. So twist one and squeeze your hips to come back up tall. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're moving to the twist at the wall. So this is where both of your forearms are on a wall and you're rotating away. Lots of rotation stretching today. So my arms are here and I'm twisting away like that. Let's just do 10 of these. So try, if you're keeping both arms, try to keep one arm still while just the other one moves. Yeah, exactly. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're moving back to our chair for the extension over the back of your chair. So as a reminder, my arms are gonna be crossed and I'm tucking my chin a little bit so that I'm not letting my neck hang way back as I lean, but I'm keeping my neck protected. 10 here and then we're home free. Everyone get back down. Let's see. All right, looks like we're there. So I'm leaned all the way back in my chair for this one, but you don't have to be. My chin is tucked. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do a quick stretch through our neck. So bring your ear to your shoulder and let this hand pull down. Let's hold for ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Roll your head to the other side. Pull here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Roll back to the middle and then come up, do a couple of circles. Few in one direction and switch directions. Two big breaths overhead, arms up. Exhale down. One more. And down. All right. Thank you guys so much for exercising with me today. So nice to be with you. Hope you enjoyed the warm weather this weekend. And we'll see you next Monday.